Um, welcome everyone to Digites Graphic Design Training. I am by name Adebayo Loashim. I am the CEO of Digites. So welcome to my training once again, and I believe you will enjoy this wonderful and amazing training. So I want to briefly explain to us, introduce us to our graphic design, and what we'll be considering now is introduction to pizza lab so we need to know the functions the usefulness of features of pizza application pizza lab it's an amazing app so you download it from google play so after downloading look at it pizza lab after downloading then you open so if you are using a system, you download um, Android emulator. Then after that, you now download Pizza Lab. But make sure your capacity of your system is strong and okay. So this is our Pizza Lab. With this app, you can design anything designable. That is it. You can design anything. You can design logo, flyer business card anything so um i'll be lecturing us on the features of um pizza lab so we have five major features of pizza lab five major features the number one we have the editing tools the number two we have the text editing tools the number three we have image or shape editing tools then number four we have main background image main background image editing tools and the last but not the least main background color adjustments so i'll start from number one look at just um the top uh, down button here you can see just look at the the pointer can you see this uh, this one so that is our template so when you click on it you see different different template is already there look at different templates this is the default template can you see can you see do it? can you see so those are templates that you can use you can edit that's the first thing you need to know about pizza lab that's the first um um two there so then the second one is text editing tool so this is a text look at the a sign can you see can you see that is it can you see the um you can see this side that is it so <clears throat> can you see that's the place as highlighted. So this one is the template two. Can you see? Then this other one is what? Text editing two. With this, you can add a text. You can delete a text. You can anything that have to do with text in what you are designing. This is the way you go to. So if you if I want to edit this. I will click here and I will erase what is there and I will type let's say D G test. Can you see now? So if I want to give it okay, if I want to delete, can you use the delete? If you want to copy, can you see? Can you see? So look at this, it will be on top of this. Okay, let me just edit this. Let me put logistics. I want to believe you are following. You are still considering the, the functions. So it's just introductory training. Okay, can you see that the logistics is on um, Digitest? So if I want to put it um, at the back of Digitest,
Okay, let's put the gators it will be on it. Can you see? So use this one to so if I want to take it to the back, just can you see these are the functions? Then position button. So we have many. Can you see? So the color, the texture, texture, if I have an image that I want, okay, let's try this. Can you see? So the opacity, that has to do with the appearance. Let's test opacity. Can you see it's fading? Can you see, depending on what word. So anything that have to do with text, you use, make use of these two. Can you see? That is what you make use of. Look at the opacity. Look at if you want to rotate. Anything that have to do with text. So if you want to mask, let's assume you want to mask a section of this. You can actually can you see? It has been cut off. That is the function of mask. Then font. Um, we send a link where you can download your font. So any um, extra um, font that you downloaded, you can see it here, my fonts. You can do one I've downloaded. Just download it. It automatically appear here where you can use it. Are you following? Then the style. So there are many amazing things you can do here. The background, can you see? That means the background of the text you are working on. So, the spacing, the alignment, the strokes, the shadow. Can you see so many things? So, so I believe you are able to get something from this explanation. So then we we'll move to the next um um one which is image or shape editing tools can you see so this is the image or shape editing tool is similar to text editing tool but the only difference is this one this with images and um shapes so if you are designing if you want to import shape this is where you um if you want to import image you can do that from here can you see see immediately i imported the image you can see there are options here for me to what similar to um um text editing tools so this one this this one this with what image or shape image or shape you can see um you can check out the video on how to remove background from picture so you need to remove background from this and if you're using this like this um like this it depends on what you are doing i want to believe you are following me step by step can you see different if you want if i want to work on this image i can start working on it one by one similar to text editing to so um let's quickly go to the next one the main background tools this is the main background tools can you see can you see that is it so so the background look at it the background of your uh, of of what you are working on if you want to put the size of um the size of your background you can see different options then you can put customize then you put the size of what you are working on can you see so if you want this to be your background can you see so and if you want to import the background from your phone maybe you already have a um, a particular background you want to use you can import it from your phone 
so you know where to go to get your background let's use this background can you see so and if you want to snap yourself and make it um, as background you can use this then if you want to crop your background can you see you can actually do that here then the color can you see I want to believe you are following this introductory class. So, then the last one, that's the main background color adjustment tool. That's the last one here. Can you see? Can you see something here? So, 